What's up everyone? Welcome back to our Heritage Group channel. My name is G. We're here presenting another white glove service car for you guys. This is a 1963 Chevy Corvair. It's not just any Corvair. This is a V8 swapped front engine Corvair. Before we get into that, if you don't know what our white glove service is, make sure to check it out on our website. That's where we help our clients sell their cars on online auctions. We handle photography, videos, marketing, and auction management. So let's get into this Corvair here. Now, as far as modifications, there's way too much to list. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you more of an in-depth ownership overview. Uh, so you'll know how this car feels as far as driving, owning this car. Um, and what other people think of it. Uh, if you want the full details on the mods list, you can check it out in the listing. Um, otherwise, let's get into it. So on the exterior, you can see it's finished in gold color and it matches the tan interior. And uh, this car has been completely re restored slash resto modded. Um, so these Corvairs usually come with a flat six engine mounted in the back. Uh, the previous owner on this car has taken the engine out, replaced the engine uh, with a 283 V8 in the front and uh, converted the rear to a trunk, a usable trunk. Uh, there's plenty of space. Uh, you can fit your groceries, a few bags in there. Um, otherwise, uh, this is a great cruiser, especially if you're around the California area or uh, coastal cities. Uh, I feel like this is the perfect car for that. Now this is uh, originally the Corvair Monza Spider, uh, so you can see uh, you can put the top down. This one does not have the top equipped on it right now. Uh, the top is removed, however, the, it's in mechanically working condition. Uh, the next owner would need to put a new, new fabric over it and uh, get it back on the car. Otherwise, it will be included with the sale. Uh, it's not installed on the car though. So going on over to the rest of the car, uh, it features uh, painted 15-inch rally wheels mounted on necks and tires, and the tires have a lot of life left on it. The entire car has about 2,000 miles since the rebuild or restoration, and uh, it's in fantastic shape. Uh, when you look at the undercarriage of the car, it's just as clean as the outside and the inside, and whoever built this thing really cared about the car and about uh, putting time into every little detail into it. Uh, when you come around the back, you'll see it's fitted with the custom SS badges uh, to go with the 283 Cor Corvette engine in there. And besides the badging, the chrome is in overall good shape. There isn't any pitting or anything that I could see. Uh, there are some scuffs, minor scuffs around the chrome, but it's something that can easily be polished out. Uh, there's no big dents or any dents for that matter. Uh, now that I'm looking around it, there's little tiny ding on the front over here on the bumper but not really noticeable at all uh, the ride height on the car is lowered it's sitting on coilovers it rides very well very smooth uh, if you know how about these older american classic cars you'll know that almost all of them are pretty wobbly when it comes to steering it's uh, steering is very light and when you're driving cruising on the freeway if you hit any bump uh, the car is going to be wobbling around it's just the nature of the 60s uh, however when comparing this to other american cars of its age it feels a lot better put together uh, it handles a lot better than uh, most other american classics that i've driven and it's honestly one of the most fun cars we've had to sell here at heritage group um, every time we get into it, whether it's taking it to do our photos or videos, um, every time we get into it and drive it, it just puts a big smile on our face. 
and wherever we go we get a lot of compliments from either people that don't know what it is uh, or people that have had one in the past and they start reminiscing over their build and admiring this one okay let's move on to the interior so the interior on this Corvair has been uh, modified as well, uh, reupholstered and redone. It, the body panel parts have been repainted the same color as the exterior, so it blends in and pulls together very nicely. Uh, the carpets have been replaced. These are brand new carpets. And the custom transmission tunnel has been added in order to uh, accommodate the transmission and the engine swap in this car. Uh, the seats are in fantastic shape. They're tan leather, front and back. Uh, the back seat only has the bottom bench part that you sit on. And uh, it also has uh, new floor mats on the car as well. Uh, shifter, the shift knob has been changed to a skull shift knob, which is very appropriate, I think, for this build. And it, it gives it a fun, fun aspect to it. Another fun aspect is actually the pedals on this car. Uh, if you look, the clutch pedal and brake pedal are round pedals. The gas pedal is an aluminum pedal. Uh, it, it really makes it that much more quirky and fun. Uh, the door panels on the car seem to be the original door panels. They're in pretty good shape as well. Um, I don't see any cracking or anything like that. Uh, there is one little dent on the uh, passenger side door, uh, but that's pretty easy to be removed. You just have to uh, take it down to a body shop and they could pop that dent out for you, but it's really not that noticeable. Um, the armrests on both sides do have a little bit of wear, especially the passenger side with some slight cracking, but still, I mean, for 1963, the entire car is unbelievable. Uh, now, when it comes to the gauges on the instrument panel, you'll see you have your water temperature gauge, your oil pressure gauge, speedometer and the miles, and uh, volts for your battery along with your fuel tank. And then on your steering column, you have your turn signal indicator. On your steering wheel, you have the horn. The horn button does not work on this car. Uh, and when you come over to the center console, I love how simple it is. You literally have your ignition switch, your lights, your choke adjustment, and an electric fan switch. And that's it. Uh, there is no heater or air conditioning in this car, so when driving this car early mornings, it does wake you up pretty quickly. Uh, but once you get it up to temperatures, the engine heat uh, comes over into the car, into the cabin, not too much, just a tiny, just enough uh, to keep you a little bit warm. Um, otherwise, you really don't mind it. I mean, again, when you're driving this car and you're in it, you're hearing the sound, you're going through the gears, seeing the reaction of the people that you're passing by, none of that matters. As far as the windows on this car, all of the windows work properly. They go up and down as they should. And the lights function properly as well. Okay, so let's talk about the engine a little. Now, this is a 283 V8 Corvette engine swapped into this Corvair. Uh, it makes the car come alive, really, and it sounds fantastic. Uh, I think this engine is pretty much exactly what this car needed. Uh, as you could see in the engine bay, taking a look around, the job was done very well. The engine and everything was removed. The bay was uh, sprayed down with a bed liner and everything was put back, some wire management done. It, it overall looks really clean in there. And uh, right now, the engine, everything with the rest of the car, it has 2,000 miles on it. Uh, everything's been rebuilt, and it drives like a dream. This thing, uh, we've taken it through uh, LA traffic, dead stop traffic uh, during lunch hour, as well as uh, some cold morning drives uh, up the mountain. And re regardless of where you're at, what you're doing, it remains at operating temperature, starts up every single time, and gets you exactly where you want to go. So overall, it's been a very reliable car and a very fun car to drive around.
first off, let's uh, address the elephant in the room. The sound of the car. Now, I'm pretty sure you could hear uh, the exhaust sound through the video. The car sounds fantastic. I absolutely love the sound of the car. It's loud enough to make you notice it. Uh, if you're passing by or if you're standing on the street, you'll definitely turn your head and look, look to see what car it is. It sounds great enough that you don't mind it at all and you want to hear it louder and louder. But it's not too loud to where you can't have a conversation with your passenger if you have a, someone in the car with you. So, uh, as far as sound-wise, I personally give this car a 10 out of 10. Um, when it comes to drivability, this car really puts a smile on your face. Uh, we've sold plenty of cars before, ranging from American classics to uh, European cars, sports cars, supercars. So. Above all of those, I feel like this would be in top three for sure. Um, it's just such a blast to drive, especially if you're somewhere where you can enjoy the car with the top down. Uh, it just puts a smile on your face, you know. Let's put this window up, hopefully manage some of the wind sound here. Uh, when it comes to the steering and suspension of the car, it feels very nice uh, compared to other older American muscle cars from the 60s era. It's a lot tighter. Um, uh, some other American cars that I've driven from the 60s that had stock suspension, mostly original cars, they felt a lot more sloppy on the road. Uh, this one feels a lot more put together and it feels like it could actually take some speed, you know. We're out here on the back roads right now, uh, so it's a perfect spot to test this car as far as power and handling. Uh, handling wise, I would personally give it uh, probably seven, seven or seven and a half out of ten just compared to the newer cars just because, again, it is all old school. There's no power steering or anything like that, so it's all on you. Uh, now, when it comes to uh, drivability of the car, it's very easy to drive. It's not something that makes you really work for it all, although you do, of course, have to work for it more than newer cars, but it, it's, it's a blast, you know, it's very easy. It starts up every time, no problems, and gets you where you need to go. It's got plenty of power, you know, this car is pretty light as is, so with the V8 in here, it's got plenty plenty of power to get up and go. Uh, we're in third gear right now, just easily cruising up, we're doing 40 miles an hour, no problems whatsoever. If we need a little more power, you can step on it. It'll get you where you need to go. And it just gets right up to speed. The sound of this car is just exhilarating. It somewhat doesn't match it. When you look at it from the outside with the car off, it kind of looks like a, a rounded, more uh, cuter car, you know? But once you start it up and you hear how mean this thing is, it just puts a big smile on your face. It just makes you want to get in it and go. Braking on the car, the front brakes have been converted to disc brakes, the rear are still drum. It brakes pretty well, uh, whether you're going slow in traffic or at speed trying to stop really quickly, it actually does the job. So there's no problems with that. The car is very reliable and the fun factor is through the roof, literally. Um, Especially now that we're working our way into summer months, it's going to be a blast to drive this on the back roads or take it by the coast, uh, take it to the beach. Uh, it's just such a great driver. Shifting.
thing that shifts through all the gears very smoothly. There's no pop-outs or grinds and uh, the clutch feels very nice too. Feels like there's a lot of life left on it. When it comes to weight distribution of the car, it honestly feels pretty balanced. Uh, there is a little bit of weight up front, but it's not much to make you understeer. Uh, it actually handle, handles very well, surprisingly. Um, I mean, I've been going through the mountain roads here at 40 to 50 miles an hour smoothly through all the turns. No problems. Uh, overall, this is such a blast. Uh, so this is up at auction right now. I believe we have about two or three days left in the auction to go. Uh, if you're interested in it, I would highly suggest uh, place your bids now. Don't wait until the last second. Uh, we've had uh, we've had it happen plenty of times where people wait till the last second and they are not able to get their bids in and it ends before they can. You know, so you really don't want to miss on this one right here. It's such a fun car and. We're really looking towards uh, seeing it go to its next caretaker. So happy bidding and we'll see you all soon.